This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get ready to the news. All right, so Iggy Azalea puts out her own news that this is what happened, okay? And you always have to be weary of this. I'm telling you, you guys can tell me. All, everyone's an expert now that's never worked in the music business. I've worked in the music business, and I've seen... <laughs> Who gets these kind of deals? You can tell the artist that's going to get these kind of deals. They have leverage. You get like Neo, Dream. These are people that write records and they're backbone of the music industry. Future's a writer. Future's written a lot of records behind the scenes. And he has a lot of leverage with his own fans and records. He sells a lot of records, okay? Iggy Azalea sold a lot of records in the beginning, right? Because she was signed to a major label. So was Future. But she never took off beyond Fancy and Black Widow in 2014. She still sold records after that. Don't get me wrong. She had a hit with Tyga. She had a hit with Team, uh, some song called Team and Go Hard or Go Home. Those were all under like Def Jam, Universal Me. It was in the Universal Umbrella, right? Do you think she owns the masters to these records? No, absolutely not. She just signed a deal in 2018 with Empire, where she'd be owning her masters, right? And she's only dropped a few songs with those, a few albums. Let's see, she dropped, I think the end of an, was it was In My Defense, was that one? Yeah, she, she dropped In My Defense, which didn't do well. In My Defense flopped, okay? She had one song on it that was called Sally Walker. I'll just say this. Maybe she sold, maybe she sold her stuff for five million, right? The the records, and that would only be three albums that she dropped on. Um, that would only be the three albums she dropped with Empire. Maybe, but like she she signed a multi year deal with them, you know. So like, it was that was probably worth a lot of money. Period. You know, maybe they bought the masters from her to own them forever. I don't know. But I'll tell you this much. She's putting out her own news. Okay. So basically she says, uh, I hope she didn't end up like Taylor, blah, blah, blah. She said, Taylor did not profit from that sale. I sold a portion of my catalog to who I wanted to for an amount that means I don't have to work another day in my life. I love y'all, but the master's conversation is a little beyond most of the understanding in the business. So if she sold the masters to her three albums on Empire, plus the publishing and everywhere, whatever she owns of the records on, on Def Jam, right? Because, you know, the, the deal you saw with Future was like a pub. I think it was like a pub deal or something like that. It, it wasn't him selling masters, you know, but he got a lot of money for that. I think he got like $50 million, but that's Future. He writes hit records. He has a lot of hit records. Iggy has a few. So, yeah, maybe she five, ten million dollars. She wouldn't have to work another day in her life if she already bought her house and everything. Think about it. She was touring and everything, and she doesn't seem like you don't see her buying Bugattis and stuff. You know, she seems pretty low key. So I could I could imagine that she basically profited a lot from, you know, everything she's done. So, yeah, maybe she doesn't have to work another day in her life. But the fact that she was so adamant about putting this news out and responding to fans, that always makes me curious. Because if you, if you actually did the, uh, if you actually did that deal, right, you're confident, you know, like it, I, I think she's a little insecure about the deal because it's a small deal compared to a lot of the other people that are out. So someone said, I guess she got a coin but she wasn't saying the label didn't do right by her music or uh, only to sell her masters. She said, if you understand the business part of music business, just say that. Uh, she's responding to, she's not responding to like big wig. She's responding to fans. <laughs> it's weird, you know? The fact that you had to explain thousands of times that you make more money with just a few streams than on your independent songs with those songs. She says, literally, also uh, didn't, didn't I not write those songs? But wait, I just sold them for eight figures. So I guess I did write them after all. <laughs> like, just be t uh, talking for years, not knowing. I think she does write her own music, unlike a lot of females. 
And I do believe she, I think she got like five to $10 million, maybe if she sold just everything that she owned in music and doesn't, maybe she just doesn't want to do music anymore. It's possible she got $10 million. Okay. But don't think it's anything more than that. Cause like all she could have sold was the writing portion of those other records. She doesn't own the masters to, to the, the first two or three albums she put out on, on universe with universal under that umbrella. Uh, that was clever business move, sis. She said, thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, but didn't you say, why did you decide it's to sell until now? And did you have this in your hindsight? For she says, I had a larger business I wanted to invest in. I love how everyone's like a super investor. <laughs> because it sounds smart, right? Trust me, if you're making moves, you don't talk about them. You don't. If you're making moves, are you going to advertise it or are you going to just do it? You're going to just do it. Okay. Uh, why would you explain it to fans? Like, why? You don't. You just don't. You have your personal life and they see the progress. Boosie. It turns out one of his uh, cousins or whatever is stealing from me. He said, my little cousin, Boosie Boy Munchie, just got busted on camera stealing my money. He's not my family anymore. Just like... I am Big Hatch. That's his brother, I think. To all his ops, he will not have my protection in the streets in Baton Rouge. You don't have to worry about me at all. I will put my freedom in jeopardy for a thief. If they steal from me, I uh, steal from you, they will take you out uh, for the right amount of money at the right time. Facts. Baton Rouge blogs. You can post. Uh, please post this on your page. Uh, and other bosses should do the same thing. When a guy's stealing, post they stuff. Uh, should I post the video? Yo, Boosie's crazy. Now, his brother stole like $350,000 out of his bank account. And he said that was money I just got. That was my first check. And my brother took it. His brother manages how somehow... His brother's involved in Young Blue's business and working against him. I don't know how that happens, but it does. I think Boosie has like a soft side for family and he let his brother back in even after he stole the 350 and then he did him dirty again. You know, like sometimes your own blood will get you. So anyways, I hope Boosie's uh, all right. Anyways, uh, We'll see. Boosie's a savage, though, man. <laughs> I don't know why they would steal from him. You just saw it the other day. Some guy tried to pull a prank on him at Walmart, and uh, one of his nephews knocked the guy out. And I don't blame him. You don't try be trying everybody with these pranks. This is George Tower with JT News. Appreciate you guys.